Hi, I'm Nick Pierce, the Barefoot Prepper from Are You Ready Radio and also the Zombie Outpost. In this segment, uh, we are sheltered in place and there's so many things that we can do, not just for our preps or just sitting around the house. Maybe we have a list of things that we've always wanted to do. Well, in this series of Tips in the Bunker, the Shelter in Place Edition or Tips in the Bunker 2.0, whatever you want to call it, I have some radios that I want to program. I'm sure a lot of you out there have been wondering, okay, how do I program all my radios to match and all this? So there's a couple different things. There, there's there's different manufacturers out there. And there's everything from Bofang. There's uh, ArcShell, Proster, TID, Revis, Kenwood, and all that. They all make the same radio. They're actually all made by the same manufacturer with different labels on them. Now, the cool part about it is they all have this universal connectivity um, for uh, between all the different brands when you buy them that have uh, the same ports. Now, I need to program one of these radios because these are all part of a set of mine. I have different many uh, many different brands of uh, walkie-talkies that I have, but my thing is they all have to match a base station. This is made by Midland. It's a crank radio. AM, FM, weather band, and all that. Um, however, they only have a certain set of frequencies that they put into their radios. Now, I'm sure that there may be a way to program that radio to anything else you want with a cable such as what I'm going to use to program these portable walkie-talkies. But, um, these are very affordable, and they can be programmed with one of these USB cables if you know what you're doing. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Now the first thing is, is that it comes with the, the Midland that I'm matching the frequencies to. It's 22 channels in it with multiple privacy codes and all that. As a set sort of frequencies. Now frequencies run anywhere from 400, 450, 475 megahertz and all that on this GMRS, FRS and a bunch of scientific mumbo jumbo communication geeky stuff. We're not going to get too into it. I want to just simply show you how to program your radio so that they can all communicate with each other. And the reason why my program uh, is done this way 
is to match what this Midland radio is. So the frequencies are already predetermined by the manufacturer, which you can find in their manual when you buy it. You can also download it off their website or even just search the web and find out what that model radio's frequencies are if you're not able to change the frequencies in that particular radio. So, between this plethora of radios that I have by all different manufacturers and a simple cable that costs no more than maybe six, seven, maybe ten dollars online that plug into a USB port and a simple computer laptop or depending on your tablet or phone you can actually connect a cable to it and program all your radios to match these frequencies so that every radio every means of communication can actually talk to each other so I went ahead and I pulled up the manual and you will see a list of frequencies in there. There's also a program that you can download free, open source, doesn't cost you anything, that works like a spreadsheet that you can type those frequencies into and for extra measure program your own security codes into it. So the key to this whole thing though is unless you have a radio like this one, which is also Bofang, Again, same as all these others, same connection and all that. Um, this one you can actually type in the frequencies and store them to communicate wherever you want. It also is a dual, we'll get into that in another segment. But for less than, we'll say $20 a set, you can get radios like this. Now that's at the time that I'm making this video. You never know what's going to happen in the future. But I do have a radio that I need to reprogram, and that's what prompted this video. And I've also had a lot of folks that have called and said, okay, Mr. Electronics Guy, which I'm not a communications guy, but I know what I'm doing when it comes to radios. I'm going to show you how to use one of these and a free program to program your radios. It starts with opening that flap on the side where normally you can plug in accessories such as an earpiece, headset, um, hand, uh, chirpy thingy wingy, whatever. Simply plug it in and start by putting it into your computer. We downloaded a program called Chirp. Just go to Google or whatever search browser you want to use and just go to, um, you can click on Chirp. Um, it's a very common program and in there it looks like a spreadsheet, kind of like this looks right here. So it'll have your location, which is your channel. Over here, it'll say frequency. You have tone mode. You have the tone that you want to select um, and different privacy modes that you may want to have. Same thing with whether it's FM, high or low power, whatever. And there's a manual right here that'll tell you the channels that's in the radio you want to match, which would be this one right here. See so yeah, how the channels are underneath. Now, we're going to take these channels and we type them into, um, we'll say channel one. It's 462.5625 is the actual channel frequency. So we take that here and as you can see, it's 462.5625. It has some zeros after it, but that's okay. Now we set a privacy mode to it, which in this case, just for the example of this video, I'm using one um, is one of the privacy codes. It's not what my radios are actually programmed to, but um, you're never going to find out. So I'm going to set the tone to one. This way, everybody that's on these radios will not be on the same frequency for the most part that I would be on. And if they were, I have other channels to go to. So we'll say channel one. And uh, you can watch other tutorials and other explanations if you want. I can You can listen to the radio program or stop in the store at Zombie Outpost. And I will be happy to explain this to you. And we're also going to be doing a workshop about communications, privacy codes, all these frequencies, and what all this really means, and then all this mumbo-jumbo. But don't worry about it for now. What you're doing is you're matching the frequencies and making all the radios talk to each other. Now, once you type in all the frequencies into there, and you assign the tones that every radio has the same thing programmed into it, you then go down to this little drop-down menu here that says radio, and you put upload to radio. You click that. Now, of course, the radio needs to be on. When you click that, 
a little dialog box will pop up. You say yes, you want to program that radio. You click OK, and then boom. This radio is going to talk to that radio, which is also going to talk to this radio, and this radio, and this radio, and this radio, and all these radios, and everything that we have going on over here. And, oh my God, everybody's going to be able to hear everybody as long as they're all on the same channel. And that's all that really counts. So, in a nutshell, that's really how you program your radios. Hello, hello, hello. And then this one will be able to talk to that one. Loud and clear, I read you, big bunny. Copy that. And everything works. That's the whole point of this, folks. So, I hope that I help seriously help prepare you and answer the question, are you ready? Of course, you can always go to the manufacturer's website for a much dulled down version of what I'm doing here from the bunker during this wonderful apocalypse shelter-in-place situation. Again, the name of the program is Chirp. Tune in to our program that I do on Friday evenings, Are You Ready Radio. Go to nickpiercemedia.com, Are You Ready Radio on Facebook and Instagram. Go to zombieoutpoststore.com for other information and details. And we look forward to seeing you when we open and um, hope everybody's surviving this shelter-in-place apocalypse. I'm Nick Pierce, the Barefoot Prepper. Thanks for watching.